Hi, and welcome along to the North Lodge Cottage Garden. The next rose up for you is one that you had my first impressions of this time last year. As you know, you'll never get a full review on a rose from myself that I haven't had in my possession or in the ground for at least 18 months. So last year, I was pleased to bring you my first impressions of this gentleman. This is Nye Bevin. And I have to confess, it's been really quite difficult to do this review. And as we get through the nuts and bolts of this beautiful rose, you'll find out why. Nye Bevan was launched and introduced by David Austin Roses in that darkest of times here in the UK in 2021. We were all deep within lockdown, very, very miserable, and Chelsea Flower Show had been cancelled, and this rose was very quietly launched in aid of the NHS. £2.50 from the original sales of this rose went straight to our, our NHS and our key workers and the rose was obviously named after Nye Bevan who was the founder of our NHS here in the UK. Nye Bevan is a really lovely beautiful little compact rose. If you're growing in a small space or need a rose for a pot or a balcony or a small space down at the front of the border it might be something for you to consider. It reaches around three and a half feet wide and has a very upright growth habit. David Austin say this reaches around two and a half feet across, but so far mine is very, very cylindrical and standing bolt upright. Now, I mentioned a second ago that I've had problems filming this review of Nybevin, and the reason why is the weather here in the UK has been absolutely shocking. It's been raining quite heavily, so I cut several stems of Mr Bevan and I brought them into the house, and I, every time a bloom comes out, I think to myself, I must film that review for you, and I must talk about the beautiful flowers that I have on display. Five minutes later, all the petals fall off, and this is the biggest issue that I have with Nybevin. It is a stunning rose. Uh, it has the most beautiful lemon uh, co uh, coloured flowers with this lovely, lovely uh, sort of tinged russet edge to it. Beautiful streaks of apricot running up the back of the flowers and the most distinctive shape on the petals. I've kept some by for you of the last bloom that have fallen. You can see here, they're actually heart shaped. They almost look like little bunny rabbit ears. They really are very, very cute. And each one tinged with a little bit of gold right at the very, very bottom. Nybevin is a stunning plant, but as I say, the blooms don't last very long at all. And that's the same for the blooms outside as well as inside. So just be prepared that don't, this is not a rose for you to bring into the house and cut because each bloom will fail quite quickly. However, in all of my years of growing roses and all of my years, especially talking to you about David Austin roses, I've never seen a rose throw up so many repeats so quickly. So although each stunning bloom fades very quickly, lasting sometimes only a day or a day and a half, there are so many of them, it's difficult to keep up. This is a rose you're really gonna have to watch your dead heading on. And you can see here, this is the flower that failed uh, just a second ago as I was about to film this video. So you have a very light mid green foliage, which is fairly large and broad in its shape. Large sprays of flowers are held upright above a compact and bushy shrub, which as I say, reaches around three to three and a half feet. The flowers at the very beginning of the season are born individually, one bloom, and then as the season moves forward, we're now into the middle part of June, huge leaders are sent up, bearing five, six, seven, eight, even nine blooms at a time. As I say, each bloom fails very quickly and shatters literally in a matter of one or two days, but there are so many of them, it's very difficult not to love this rose. It's a stunning colour, very difficult to describe, and this light as this thunderstorm moves in behind me might not be picking this up particularly well. But it is a very soft lemon yellow with tones of russet and gold and burnt orange running through it. It's got a very, very lovely brassy look to the flower, and those lovely heart-shaped petals are very, very evident even when the flower is open fully. There is a lovely pink or peachy tinge to the very, very outer petals, and it opens to a really exquisite shaped bloom with a really lovely fragrance. It's spicy and full of mirth. It really is lovely. And on a warm summer's day, Nye Bevan from David Austin Roses is gonna give you a really, really lovely show. So far, it's had no problems with any disease whatsoever. It's been strong, 
vigorous, got itself established very well, and now only in its second year is throwing up quite literally dozens and dozens of flowers. So if you're growing on a patio, a raised uh, terrace or balcony, this may be a rose that you really should look out for. Nive Evan from David Austin Roses launched in 2021 in the darkest of times in the middle of that horrible pandemic brought hope and joy to many of us much as our NHS did here in the UK and it's a cracking little rose just be prepared you're going to need your secateurs you're going to need to deadhead it very very regularly because the blooms don't last for very long but there are plenty of them.